Hello everyone. This is Sayyid Musa Kalim from Epicop and today I'm really excited to show you about GitHub. So GitHub is a software where you can uh, create repositories, you can share uh, your code with others. So in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a new repository, how you can clone it and how you can uh, push and pull code from that repository just to that repository so firstly oh, we have to install git bash uh, if you want to uh, clone or if you want to commit some changes to github repository so you need to install git bash uh, from this website called git scm.com slash downloads and here you have uh, different platforms as well Windows, Linux, Mac OS and Solaris if you are a Windows user then definitely you have to use this definitely you have to install this file Windows file so after installing this file you need to create a github account and I have created it so I'm gonna sign in with my username and password my username is this one and I'll sign this and I'll sign in with this username so after signing in to github oh my password seems to be wrong uh, yeah it is wrong so let's give the correct username Sayyid Musa Kaleem 95 at the rate gmail.com and password it is signing in yeah it is uh, here we have uh, four reposit five reposit uh, five repositories which I have already created so I'm not gonna use this or uh, existing repositories I'm gonna show you how you can create a new repository and how you can commit changes to the repository so let's create a new one here and if you want to know more about github then you can visit this uh, link guides uh, it uh, actually guide you how you can create new repository branches and we have different features in github like uh, creating new repositories and uh, dealing with branches merging branches and how you can fork uh, the repository and how you can pull or clone the repository so we have different things to do with github it's if you are dealing with or if you are working uh, on open source projects or if you have any creative ideas then you can share your ideas and you can share your code with others on github it's a good platform so if you are not familiar with github then definitely you need to be familiar in order to get started with github so uh, let's give a new repository name here angular and if you want to make it public then definitely you need to select this it's a default one and if you really want to make it private then you should use this option here you can see and let me tell you about this thing Definitely uh, we need to select this checkbox initialize this repository with the readme file readme file means it uh, it just give you uh, a Quick introduction or a little bit introduction of your repository and it it helps in many things You can search about readme files of git github repository on internet because th that is not our part of this video That's not a part of this video. So I'm gonna create a new repository by clicking this button so it's a good documentation to know more about github and let me show you some interesting commands of github uh, it's a Atlassian documentation uh, which I found on internet and we have different commands of github git init it, 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 it initialize your github repository and uh, like I said uh, I'll show you how you can clone your repository and how you can add files to the repository and how you can commit changes by using git commit slash m m represents mean so it, it represents message means uh, uh, which 
commit is this so it just gives the commit message like first commit or initial commit you can give anything git commit a means you are committing changes to everyone at and anywhere if you are making changes at some file then definitely you need to use this command uh, hyphen a it just commit all changes to your repository so it push origin master so we have different commands of github you can visit this documentation to know more uh, about github command so I'll link this documentation in the description of this video so you can find there let me show you how you can clone a github repository on your local host on your local computer so I'm gonna select this clone or download button and I'm gonna copy this uh, you can see here we have URL and let me show you the URL uh, yeah you can see here github.com slash my username Sayed Musa Kaleem 95 slash angular dot git repository name dot git dot git extension represents that it's just a github repository it is very much similar to this URL you can see here but we don't have dot git extension here in this URL right so it means that it's it's just a repository so I'm gonna copy this and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, clone that uh, repository on my desktop so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type git clone command and I'm gonna paste that URL and I'm gonna hit enter so it's cloning the angular repository so we have empty repository and we have only one file that is readme file and you can see here if I open this file then you can only see angular inside that file so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just yeah we have angular repository here on localhost I'm gonna open this readme file in sublime text editor you can see here so I'm gonna write something here this is just a simple git repo for angular series I'm gonna save this once you hit save it means that you have you made some change in it right so if you are making some changes to the files then definitely you need to commit those changes to the github so for that we have different command called git commit like I have shown you on that documentation so git commit hyphen a it means we are um, we are committing every change we are committing every change to the github repository and we also want to give the message called first commit right so it's just a message it just shows your commitment me uh, commitment message hyphen m represents your message of commitment so I'm gonna hit enter uh, what is saying that we are not in a github repository so first we need to go to that uh, folder the github repository folder cd angular now we are in angular folder now we are in angular repository so we'll just check the status before committing changes that is if is someone make changes or not so we'll uh, see the status of the repository by typing git status command so once I hit enter uh, once I hit enter you can see that readme file has been modified by someone and if you want to make or uh, if you want to commit that change then obviously you need to use git commit command or git add you can see here no changes added to commit so we can use any command here so I'll use git commit hyphen a means any change anywhere M means message first commit uh, I hit enter right you can see here one file changed 
three insert uh, three insertions one deletion it's just showing that uh, now we'll see our readme file right we haven't pushed that code we haven't pushed that change to the repository that's why the readme file only contains angular this file this change is not showing in our repository in the readme file so we need to use one more command here called git push enter this command will push the change to the repository and probably it may ask you to log in because we are not using SSS feature SS, SSH feature as I have shown you here oh sorry I forgot to show you the SSS, SSH feature which is a different feature of github uh, we have cloned this directory using HTTPS method we haven't used SSH feature uh, it's a different one and it's a different method if you are using that method then you don't have to give your login details of github it it stores your uh, username and password of github permanently so that's a different topic and that's a different part if you want to know more about SSS SSH feature then you need to search it on Google or you can find some tutorials uh, you can find some tutorials on YouTube yeah you can see here counting objects 3 done Delta compression using uh, four threads right yeah it it may it commit all changes to the master branch now we'll see yeah you can see here once we use git, git push method our changes has been committed to the readme file which we have saved on our local computer so using this way you can push the code or you can commit the changes which you have done on your local host and I'm, I'm a little bit surprised that I have used git push method and it haven't asked me to enter my uh, username and password it haven't asked us it haven't asked me my credentials so sometimes it happens uh, as I am logged in so it might not ask me so using this way you can commit your changes and you can clone your directory and you can make some changes and you can commit those changes to the repository to the github repository so if you want to know more about github then definitely you need to visit this documentation it's a beautiful documentation where you can find a merge pull request which is uh, which is not a part of this video I have shown you how you can create a new repository how you can clone it uh, using HTTPS method uh, if you want and uh, if you want to know more about SSH feature then definitely you should watch some other tutorials as well because I haven't shown you uh, about SSH so uh, I have also shown you how you can push and pull code so that's all about github and uh, hope you understand and hope you like this video thanks for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel share my videos with your friends don't forget to watch a series of Ionic 3, Ionic 2 and also I have ASP.NET Core MVC series on my channel please like it and please subscribe to my channel name Epicop thanks for watching this video again and I'll see you in the next video.